So we're at the ultimate tackle shop today, which is Walmart. Kind of saying that sarcastically, that's definitely not the best tackle shop around here, but we're at the Walmart today. We're gonna be picking up some tackle to go catch some big bass. So we got this variety right here. Let's go ahead and sort out through this, see what our key baits are gonna be today and what we plan on catching bass on. So as you guys know on Kicking Their Bass TV, we are here to catch big bass, whether it's on the boat, whether it's on the kayak, whether it's on the bank, whether it's on the plane, coming soon we're just trying to catch a big bass so one big bass fishing bait that i always catch fish on which you guys know and you guys know that i love is a chatter bait so we're gonna go with a couple black and blue chatter baits we're gonna get two of these just to try out today we're gonna need some trailers for this as well um which i'm gonna get some little black and blue crawl trailers to put on that and now i actually want to pick out a few frogs this is their frog selection they got some one dollar frogs I don't know what the heck that is. They got some Lunker Hunt Lunker Frogs. They got some KVD Sexy Frogs. But they don't have any popping frogs. And I love popping frogs. It's usually what I use. And then they have this little kit. But maybe save that for another video. I have another frog fishing kit I want to do. This is kind of a, a wacky one. I'm not going to lie. So maybe we're going to hold off on the frogs. I still got a few popping frogs. But we're still going to go with the chatterbaits and the trailers. And we'll probably leave it at that. So we got the goods. Now it's time to go fishing. Catch a big bass. That's what we do here on Kicking the Bass TV. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell, which is right next to the subscribe button. And also, if you guys have been enjoying the content, be sure to hit that like button. Let's go ahead and get this party started. Oh my god, monster, monster, first fish, toad, get up here, that's a solid four pounder, we're pushing it, three and a half, four pounds, first fish of today, on the chowder beat, that's what we talking about, that's an awesome way to get today started with a fatty, look at that thing. I think it's pushing for every day. That is a good way to start off the day, boys. We're gonna get a release on him. And we're gonna get back out there. This is on the chatterbait. You catch a solid four, three and a half, four pound donkey. That's what we talking about. There she goes. Never been here. That's our first fish. And I'm excited. <laughs> he messed up my chatterbait. I'm excited because that's our first fish was that size. I got a little nervous for a minute. I covered a lot of water on the bank. I saw all these beds and I was just getting nothing. I was like, come on, man, what the heck's going on? And all of a sudden, I have a good four pounder come choke that thing. Let's keep moving. Got him. Another good one. It was like two pounds. Choked that chatterbait. Look at that. That's tall. <laughs> you, you see choking right there. Oh man, I'm getting excited. I'm about to say if he's another four pounder, that would have been insane. But that's a quality bass right there. I do not mind catching those at all. If you guys are wondering what trailer I'm using, I'm using Reaction Innovations Kinky Beaver in California 420. That is what we're using today on the back of this black and blue chatterbait. Not the best combo, but. Is what I have and they seem to like it so we're gonna keep on trying that boom just like that sexy oh my god did you guys see that he's got it big holy crap mm. four pounder choke a chatter baby. oh my gosh he spawned out to the max and he was off the bank more too, makes sense. Solid three and a half. He could easily be four if he had some fat on him. Oh my God. Look at that bass. This is happening so quick, guys. We've caught three fish, two of them being toads. He would be a toad if he was fat. But look at that. What a beautiful fish, man. On the chatter donk. It's happening quick, baby. Oh, that's sweet. Look, I, I went like this and I jigged it up and he pulled back on me and I was like, crap, I missed him. And I started to reel it a little more, it came out of nowhere and just sucked it down. Let me tell you, that was my first cast out in the middle. I've been fishing by these beds right here. 
and I see a huge fish on bed. I see a big one. I don't know if that's a bass. Something's swimming right there. Big. I mean, gigantic. Right there. We're going to keep trying out here some more. Got another one. Boom. This is happening so quick, and they're choking the chatterbait. They want this thing. No questions asked. They want the chatterbait. Solid pound and a half. Quality bass. They want the chatterbait today. There he is, right there, working that edge. This is a small one. But the point is we're working this edge. I'm throwing more off the bank now, and I'm focusing in on that and that other, I guess you can call secondary stage of beds that's still out here off the bank. And that's what we're focusing on now. Oh my God, what was that? That honestly made my heart stop. I'm not gonna lie. I, that spooked the heck out of me. <laughs> I've seen some weird looking things in here since I've been here. Oh man, I spooked one. Oh God. This place looks so good, but I just, Ooh, there's some bait popping there. There might be bass in here. I, I don't know. It looks so good though. So I've been looking around for quite some time. We're in Florida today. I don't know if I've told you guys um, but I do not live in Florida. I live in Georgia um, For all the people comedy no one only catch a big bass because he lives in Florida guys I do not live in Florida. I take trips to Florida 90% of my contents from Georgia So I'm kind of trying to find new spots right now just hunting on Google Maps finding new areas It's kind of a you know trial and error, you know, we'll go to some ponds. We'll have fish We'll go to some other ones. They don't um, that first one was juice. We're gonna continue to look on Google Maps see if we can find some more but it is steaming hot It's like over 90 today, and it is it's brutal especially with this uh, booby cam on it's pretty rough Will we be able to catch a frogfish in this corner? If you want my honest opinion, I think we can I haven't had a frog bite here yet but I Think we can trick one to bite in it at least one maybe two I it's just so hot out here. Oh my, he broke me off. He broke me off. He broke my freaking leader. Hold up, hold up. He's still got the frog, man. He still has it. My line, where's it at, where's it at? He's taking off of my line. I'm literally watching it happen. Look at that. Are you freaking kidding me? He's taking off of my braid right now. Dude, this is ridiculous, man. Holy cow, I cannot believe that. First cast, I got slammed on the frog and he has it. Gosh dang it, guys. I cannot believe that. I was just talking about it. Where's my line? He still has it. He's walking with it. Where'd my line go? I think that's it. I think that's it right there. Yeah, it is. Yep. If this is going to be legendary. This is going to be legendary. Please still have it. Oh, he doesn't. It's right there. Oh, it's... Oh, this is so stupid. I see a fish right here. Oh, I'm so mad. He literally ripped. I actually see him swimming over there. I see a bass just chilling. Holy crap. So let's let's talk this through. First of all, I know they can eat a frog. They're just this type of slop on the grass, super shallow. There's fish roaming over here. I know we might be able to catch one or two on a frog, but I killed all my braid off my reel. I had so what had happened was that I didn't have much braid. I actually got this from Adam. I had some backing on my reel. So I pretty much tied the braid to the rest of my fluorocarbon. And that's what I did. And it freaking sure enough snapped right out. I had a feeling the past couple weeks that that was going to happen at least once. 
And it had to have happened when I haven't had a frog bite in Florida and I finally get my first one on the first cast. This is one thing I actually like to talk about. See how I have all this line and it's obviously useless now. Don't leave this stuff in the water, guys. I'm being serious. Don't leave this in the water. I see it all the time. I walk the banks. There's just bottles of, or little uh, balls of line just everywhere. Don't do that. Pick up after yourself and just throw it away later. The best way to do it. All right. We rigging this sucker back up on Floro. I really do not care. We're going to try to get revenge on a frogfish. So last time I came to this pond, I actually went to the same Walmart. I bought the same chatterbaits. I bought the same trailers. I ended up hooking into like a nine pounder. Oh my God, guys, I got a giant. I mean a giant, guys. Holy sh, oh my God, this might be my PB. I'm not even lying. I'm not even lying, this might be my PB. Oh my God, let's go, baby. Let's go, look at the stomach on that thing. Oh my gosh. That's the trophy right there, baby. So maybe that's gonna happen today at this little pretty pond. We're gonna be trying the frog as well, but that's what we're gonna start off with. Then we're gonna move to the chatterbait. Let's get it started. By the way, shout out to Bass Bank Roberts for hooking me up with the little, little spot to fish at. Really nice guys hooked me up with some stuff recently. And uh, wish I was out fishing with him, but that man works a lot. But let's go ahead and get this thing started. There he is, oh my gosh. No way, no way. I, I have a feeling that fish is on bed and two, I have a feeling that was a good one. He never had it all the way. Like, that fish had to have been on bed. Oh, there's a fish on bed right here. It's actually kind of big. Oh, he's just looking at me. Oh my God, that's like a 10 pounder. There's like a 10 pounder right next to this bed. What in the heck? That's not something you see every day, folks. Right when I started reeling it away, like an eight to 10 pounder just swam up. It like acted like he was gonna eat my bait. Oh my God. Listen, listen, hold up. The male is like probably three to four pounds and the female's like probably a solid eight to 10. Oh my God, the male is right behind me. He's so close to eating this thing. I got him. That was a male. Boom. There we go, we got the male. Solid two, two and a quarter. I thought he was like three. God, he ate that thing. Guys, I'm telling you, this is tiny. Compare, that female is a solid eight to 10 pounds. We're gonna release this male. I'm gonna try to catch that female. I just don't know if she's gonna bite. Beat it up, beat it up. Give it up, give it up. They gon' try you, they can't stop you. Eat it up, eat it up. Pac-Man, Pac-Man. Pac-Man, Pac-Man. Pac-Man, Pac-Man. 